Okay, so we're in Kentucky now. And I guess I'll start off with um, my most traumatic experience there was once I got there and, you know, she had to play nice with us during this time because George did not know. That's my father. And yes, I grew up in a black family in the ghetto in the West End in Louisville, Kentucky. Anyway, um, you know, he didn't know how angry she could get and how narcissistic she was. So, you know, she put on that fake whatever and she allowed him to get close to us. And see, we were really young at the time, so I guess she didn't really have a problem with it. Um, and he was always really sweet. Like we would, we would bet on games and, and the way that we would bet was with snickerdoodle cookies and different stuff. So, or whatever. And like, he'd give us allowance or like, he'd bring us, you know, like chocolate ice creams or something. And then with the give him, give it to Tasha, but he always mess around with me because I was a big tomboy and I loved to wear like, like I love to dress just like him. Well, I tried. <laughs> um, <clears throat> and so like um one day I was going around and I remember I had one of his really big t-shirts on and I had um I, and my mom never told me to like put on anything and you know it went all the way to my knees I was like this little bony rony thing like you could rub my my legs together and make a fire type thing I was I was real skinny, but I ate a lot. Anyway, um, I was not aware of sex or my body at that time. And my mom got so mad at me and she made me go upstairs and she said, don't walk around like that. And then when I came back downstairs, you know, with pants and everything underneath, she said, um, she told me that I was not no longer allowed to go in my dad's room. I wasn't allowed to be around him, um, to leave him alone. And you can't sit on his lap. You can't do this. There was all these, like, don'ts that I was not allowed to do. And it hurt me really bad because he was, like, the only, to me, like, he was my safe place from her. And it was, like, all those things were dissipating. And I, and I just, my suicide tendencies came back during that time because she started giving, getting even more aggressive after that you know, and she also started going back to the room and, and talking to my father about me, like, you know, Crystal lied or she did this. And slowly it started making him change his mind about like his little girl.